If the Shoe Fits by Jennifer Dussling, illustrated by Deborah Melman. Albert grabbed his sister's arm. Wanda, what's that? Albert and Wanda were coming back from picking berries in the people yard. Something strange was in the grass ahead of them. They crept closer. It was big. It was red. It was... It was a people shoe. Albert jumped up and down. This shoe was the best thing ever. What was it doing outside? It was right where Groucho the cat could find it. Groucho had beat Albert to some great stuff before. A huge striped feather, a pink rubber ball, a dropped hot dog bun, but not this time. Wanda, we have to take that shoe home, Albert said. We can put it in the playroom. It'll be our clubhouse. Wanda looked at the shoe. Mm, it would be a perfect clubhouse, she said, but it's big and heavy, and the playroom is far away. I don't want to get there and find out it doesn't fit. So, Albert said, we can measure it first. We don't have a ruler, Wanda pointed out. I have an idea, Albert said. I'll use my feet to measure it. Albert walked next to the shoe. He put one foot in front of the other. He counted one, two, three, until he reached the end. It's twelve mouse feet long, he said. Wanda nodded. I'll double check. She measured with her feet. It's ten mouse feet long. Albert looked at his mouse foot. He looked at Wanda's mouse foot. Hey, your feet are bigger than mine. That's why we got different numbers. Let's measure it with something else. Wanda said. I know, Albert said. He reached into his backpack. Cheese. He held up a cheese stick. Albert measured the shoe. It was exactly eight cheese sticks long. Albert and Wanda crossed the yard. They scurried along to the fence, around the flower pots, and over the log pile. Finally, they reached home. Now, we need to measure the playroom, Wanda said. Albert took the cheese stick from his bag. Wanda looked at it. It seemed shorter. Albert, she asked, did you eat part of the cheese stick? I got hungry, he said. What else can we measure with? Wanda asked. It has to be one size, not like mouse feet, and it has to stay the same size, not like a cheese stick. Albert thought for a moment. Paper clips, he said. Albert had a paperclip collection. The purple ones were his favorite. They were all the exact same size. He ran and got them. Albert measured. The playroom was seven paperclips long. Albert and Wanda peeked outside. No Groucho. They hurried over the log pile, around the flowers, and along the fence. The shoe was right where they had left it. Phew! I was afraid Groucho would find it, Albert said. Wanda measured the shoe. It was five paper clips long. It would fit in the playroom with two paper clips to spare. Albert picked up the heel. Wanda picked up the toe. They carried the shoe along the fence. They carried it around the flower pots. They carried it to the log pile. Albert and Wanda stopped to catch their breath. That shoe was heavy. Then they climbed to the top of the log pile. Albert looked down and saw Groucho. Groucho looked up and saw Albert and Wanda. Albert shrieked. Wanda shrieked. They dropped the shoe. The shoe tumbled off the log pile and hit Groucho on the nose. Groucho yelled. He ran as away as fast as his cat feet could run. Albert shook his paw at Groucho. Take that, cat, he cried. Albert and Wanda raced down the side of the woodpile and grabbed the shoe. They ran as fast as their mouse feet could run. They crammed the shoe through the back door. They crammed, the, they crammed it through the playroom door. They put it between the bookshelf and the ball hoop. It fit perfectly. Wanda and Albert's mouse clubhouse was mouse-tastic. Albert popped his head out of the toe hole. Wanda climbed the shoelace. 
Albert crawled through the middle. Wanda sat on the tongue and read a book. It just needs one more thing, Wanda said. On the side of the shoe, she painted, No Cats Allowed. The End